hello and welcome back to brighters with sort out youtube channel it's always a delight to be here in today's tutorial i'm going to be taking you through how to cut this wedding gown train this is actually a detachable skirt that goes through to the front and to achieve this particular project i mean the detachable skirt we will need like eight to nine yards of 60 inches length fabric now because of the lengthy fabric we need for this project that's why i'm going to be making a draft a pattern on this paper so to make this the basic measurement we need is our waist and then our length just waist and length and this length is from our waist to the floor length now we'll be working based on assumption and for this the assumption we'll, we'll use as waist is 20 inches why for the length we we'll use 30 inches i pray we'll get that on this paper so in order to get the radius of our waist radius is actually waist divided by 6.28 now she i said our waist is 20 why our length will be 30. now our radius is waist divided by 6.28 then plus 0.5 which is our sewing allowance i don't know if you can see what i wrote that i'm trying to show you then i wrote waist length and then um the radius is which is equal to waist over 6.28 plus our sewing allowance which is 0 0.5 now our waist is 20 so it will be 20 over 6.28 20 over 6.28 plus our sewing allowance which is which is 0 0.5 so 20 divided by 6.28 is around 3.12 thereabout then plus 0 0.5 at the end we got 3.6 that's approximately so we approximate it to 3.6 so these are the basic thing we will need for the drafting of our pattern so radius length and that is all so let's get going right now i have my paper okay so let me not call this paper i have my fabric so like we cut peplum a circular cut i'm going to be folding this fabric into two yes and then after folding it into two i'll fold it into four the normal way we'll fold our circular cut i mean our peplum cut okay so ruler will serve as my tape row you know normal tape row will be too the length will not work for the measurement we are using so we have our front panel right now that's what we are cutting out that's what we are drafting rather so now i will make a mark with my ruler remember our radius is 3.65 3.6 rather so that is what we are marking out with this ruler on on our pattern paper so like i'm marking out the radius now we'll mark it around and then after we have done that we are going to check out for the length of our um fabric now with ruler also i have like 25 inches yes with the ruler i have 25 inches so we still have a lengthy cloth also so now 25 inches what i will do like i mark my radius i'm going to mark it round also but i will start from the edge so 
I will mark it round from the edge in order for it to be accurate. So right now I have my front panel drafted. We'll go to cut it out. I hope you can see my my drafting, the front panel and then the marking. So let's cut it out. So here is our front panel well cut out. The next thing we are going to do now is cut our back pattern. Now I think I have some explanation to make here in order not to confuse you at the end of the drafting. Now remember that the radius we use was the for the in cutting the front pattern panel rather was the full radius and that was 20 divided by 6.28 then plus 0 0.5 as soon allowance now i'm cutting the back panel now that's to show that and my 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 fabric is on fold as you can see me do now that's to show that the front panel will have gathers in order to accommodate the back we are just cutting our front pattern was co was was cut in a circular form so now we are cutting the back which is on fold what I will do now is leave some allowance. As you see, the, the, can you see the way I place the front panel? So I'm leaving like half inch also, which will serve as my zipper allowance. If the skirt is to be attached to the upper body, if it's a detachable one also, you will have to put the allowance there. Now it won't be zipper allowance unless you want to put zip on your train. But if not, it will serve as sewing well allowance. Now what I will do now is put my ruler at the edge of the front panel that will first cut there. As you can you see me? Then I mark it and then I'll come to the upper edge and then mark where I will mark the edge of the circular cuts so now i'm using my front to also cut my back and then at the waist i will mark it out as you can see me do so i extended it to that allowance i don't know i hope you understand what i'm what i'm trying to explain now what i will do now is draw my my pattern down you see you see that same front pattern that i'm using to cut the back i will draw it down and then make a mark i want it to be rounded i want it to be rounded as the front and that's why i draw i drew it down and then make a mark when you are marking a something like this you don't start from the up you start from the down edge and then mark it up in order for you to make it to get it rounded so that's why i'm using free and sketch so what i will do what i'm doing now is sketching it drawing it up to the edge of the front pattern so that at the end of the day while sewing the sides will be equal now we have our train extension well drafted as you can see and then for our back panel let me recap for my back panel, I added zipper allowance and then I, 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 I drew the waistline and then extended it down to have that coffee shape at the down parts. I'm trying to recap. So I have my zipper allowance and then I drew it down. Remember I said for that zipper allowance, if we are attaching it to the upper bodies, that will serve as zipper allowance but if it's a detachable one it will serve as sewing allowance so i do it down and then make my shaping now we are cutting it out can you see how beautiful it's coming out even before cutting it out before having it cut out we already seen the shape 
and we can see how lengthy the back chain will be the extension chain will be can you see so now after cutting the side we'll cut out our waist and then i will still show you how to join it per adventure you now have all your fabric your real fabric cut out and you want to join so this is our back panel let me try and label it this is our back panel and then we have our front panel so right now as our sewing we're going to be making use of masking tape to join our fabrics together i just want to show you how at the end of the day you will join it so just like i said that if you're attaching it to the upper body that place will serve as your sewing allowance if not you are joining it if, if it's detachable you are joining it at that end if you want to put zip also very fine you can but if you don't want to it will just serve as um what's it called sewing allowance can you see the way i joined it now I'll come to my front panel and then the two edges you can see the way it's facing each other and you will lap it you will sew it i'm lapping it because i'm using masking tape so the two sides will be joined like you see me do that's the way you will sew it if you are sewing it too you will join the two sides of the dress like you see me do same thing you do to this side you will do to the other side also and then after you have joined it of course you cut out your waistband and then attach it to it and there you have your train skirts i hope we understand this tutorial well if this tutorial has been beneficial if you got value watching this video i want you to like and share this video with your friends make comments per adventure you have any question that you want to ask feel free to ask your question like i used to say i like feedback give me feedback on this video if you practice it you can tag me let me see what you did and then lastly if you are here to subscribe to this channel wait no further subscribe to this channel press on on um, on the notification bell so that anytime i upload new videos you get to be notified thank you everyone for staying true to the end of this video i really really appreciate you so see you in my next class thank you bye